Good morning. This is Joyce, and I am here with another Saturday morning challenge of friends. And it is Saturday morning. Yes, it is. I should have had this finished last night. And hey, I worked late, and I am happy to be here. Uh, this week's challenge is for us to do bride and grooms. You know, June is a big wedding month, and I've got several coming up over the next few months. So this was a way for me, personally, to get some of my cards done. And I still need to do an album. Uh, so, yeah, this was a great challenge for me. And you should go by and check out Shantae because, you know, we do this every couple weeks or so. And we try to challenge each other to use all of our products or use stuff that we've not we've had for a long time and not used. And, I mean, we've done some really great challenges. Um, we, some, have brought us out of our comfort zones. And, hey, it's so much fun. Uh, yeah, I'm having coffee. It is 6.37 in the morning. And I have to go out and buy a new tire for my car because I've got a nail or a screw, one of the two, in it that um, I'm almost sure they aren't going to be able to fix. So that is what I'm doing as soon as I take care of this. I'm going to show you some of the products that I used. And then we'll get on with it. I used Bling from Warner Scrap. I used part of that one. I used a couple of these pearls from Wanna Scrap. You know, when I went to Expo last year, I bought lots and lots of Wanna Scrap per, um, bling and haven't used very much of it. Uh, this is a recent purchase. It is a Gina Marie design. I love this die. I saw it. I don't have a lot of dies like this, and I wish I did. Uh, so I had ordered this, and it, it'll be shown in a. Um, haul video really soon but I pulled it out and used it so I've got that I used this stamp it is from stamp abilities uh, and it was called Mr. and Mrs. as you can see that's part of my new storage system I pulled one stamp from this set I have had this set forever I bought it at Tuesday morning several years ago and it's just been there I used this love stamp from it. And these stamps, it was really hard to, it's a friskars as you can see, but the rubber, no it ain't rubber, the, what it's made out of, they are sticky and it took a while to pull it off the plastic, you know, off the thing. I don't know about these. And like I said, I've never used them and it may be because they've set up for so long, but they were just... I don't know, kind of gummy. But anyway, I used that. Now this stamp, I honestly, I can't read the little printing on there. And it's one I got when I was on a design team years ago. But it's a, a, a bride and groom that I really like. I use it quite a bit. And so I use that. I use some Momentum Cocoa. I use Delect. The Delicata Golden Glitz. I used that. These are some of the um, dies that I used from Spellbinders. I got another one that's still on the die cut scissors. I used this one and this one. And this is some leaves that I found in one of my storage things that I'm going to pull out and die cut, use up some of the gold papers that I had left. This gold paper, by the way, is from Gina K. And it is awesome. Okay. I will definitely, I used two sheets. I love it. It is so thick. It is metallic all the way through. There is no white core. As you can see, the core, it is gold all the way through. There is no white core. I hate paper that has that white core, and I have to ink the edges. This stuff is fantastic. 
I bought it in the copper and the gold and in the silver and I bought two it comes 10 sheets to the package I think uh, I love it I love her paper period but this is it is awesome so I use that and that I think is it so I am going to show you my first card I made three this is that Gina Marie die. As you can see, I matted it with that gold paper. And I used it here. I did not do the insides of my cards because, like I said, I'm not sure who, who is going to get what. But it's plain right now. I'm going to look for some vellum because I would love to use a sheet of vellum in here to stamp on. So I'm going to look for some gold vellum but that is that and I used the heavy duty uh, cardstock from Michaels as my base so it is weighty um, and I like how this one turned out I used the embossing folder um, what's well, Swiss dots for this one. Oh yeah I, I put all the embossing folders up but I used several so I used the Swiss dots on that and I really love how this one turned out. So let's go on to the next one. I decided that I wanted to do a gatefold card. <laughs> and I had a little mishap because when I stamped, which if I hadn't already glued it down, it wouldn't have been a problem. But I stamped and instead of my gatefold card opening this way and I haven't like I said nothing in the inside I'm still gonna look for some vellum to go in this one also and stamp on it my gatefold card is going to open this way so that's different I really like it this paper is from one of my oh what it what pad was it it was I put everything back up and that was a mistake but this is what the paper looked like I just pulled out the one sheet and I used it and I did the back some more of that gold these gold flowers are wild orchid crafts I've had them a really long time so, and this leaf is that leaf dye from Spellbinders that I showed you. And I'm going to pull that whole set out and I'm going to cut up all my scrap paper so I don't waste any. This is another one. I used that love dye from the Frisker set. I like it. And I think opening this way is totally acceptable because it makes it different. And I love different. So that is card number two. And then I went to Pinterest. You know, I never access Pinterest. I usually look at it on my phone. And I ended up having to set I set up two different accounts because I couldn't remember password for my oldest account. So, but I went on Pinterest looking for some inspiration because at the time my mind was not working. But I saw this one and I knew I had they used this exact same die which is the swirls this is the always and forever from that stamp set here from uh, Hobby Lobby and some of the pearls and some more of those gold flowers and I really hate it because these were the last of the small flowers there were only five left and I used them all I used that die again for the leaf and I matted everything and double matted with that gold paper and I really really love how this one turned out once again this one opens this way and I think I'm gonna put some more of the some of the gold inside this one and then do another matte in white just to be different but I will only have to stamp the back when I get ready to use them and do my insides. Um, yeah, that is it. Um, I hope you like my cards. I would love to hear from you and what you think. Uh, so, 
I'm going to end this video right now. Don't forget, go by and check out Shantae. She, I'm sure she has come up with something that is just fabulous. She always does. Um, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I am working on a subby giveaway. I have still not ironed out all of, all of the details, but that should be coming along soon. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I am just kind of at a loss. <laughs> I need to get moving. But once again, this is one card. This is my second card. And this is my third card. So yeah, you, and I'm going to post them on my blog. I'm going to do them one at a time. And I will be giving a little bit more detail. And, you know, I basically, that's it. And thank you so very much for coming by. Bye. Have a great day.